Welcome to Finances Do Matter. My name is Richard and today we're going to take a look at the United States dollar. We see on YouTube and elsewhere so many people calling for the failure of this global reserve currency, stating it's a matter of imminency when the dollar will collapse and the end of our economic world as we know it is upon us. They usually couch it within the terms of a global reset. I'm going to look at some of the issues that genuinely can undermine the US dollar and are undermining the US dollar, but also a number of issues that suggest that perhaps it may be with us longer than most people think. The US dollar has long been regarded as the world's dominant reserve currency and the symbol of global economic stability. However, recent geopolitical shifts, changing economic dynamics and the emergence of new technologies have sparked debates about the future trajectory of the dollar. Now, what I propose to do is to expose the challenges and prospects facing the US dollar in the years ahead. One of the first issues that could seriously undermine it is the geopolitical landscape. It's undergoing significant transformations that could impact quite seriously the dominance of the US dollar. You see, the rise of emerging economies such as China and the European Union's efforts to make the euro an alternative currency poses challenges for the US dollar supremacy. Additionally, geopolitical tensions and trade disputes between one nation and another may erode confidence in the dollar, leading to diversification by countries seeking to reduce their dependencies on the United States. Now a second area of impact are technological disruptions, a very posh word for saying new innovation in the technology space, particularly in the digital currency space. You see advancements in financial technology particularly the rise of cryptocurrencies. We've all heard of Bitcoin, and most people have heard of Ethereum, for example. They are going to potentially disrupt traditional financial systems, including the US dollar. Now, these cryptocurrencies have gained a degree of popularity as alternatives, mediums of exchange, and stores of value. Now, we can debate whether they represent a true store of value, some will just say it's a Ponzi scheme. They only have value because someone's worth willing to pay more than someone else who's currently holding it, but eventually it will all collapse to zero. But then they say that about the dollar as well. So while it's unlikely that cryptocurrencies will completely replace the United States dollar, they could impact both the demand for the dollar and tend to encourage people to move away from the use of the dollar, thereby potentially undermining its global reserve currency status. It could still exist, but may not dominate. Now, another factor which would affect or undermine the US dollar are economic factors. You see, the US dollar is tied to the strength of the United States economy. Now, factors such as fiscal deficits, debt levels, and the Federal Reserve's monetary policy can impact the stability of the US dollar and the global perception of it. I, in my weekly financial updates, often talk about the dollar index, and that's comparing it to a basket of key currencies. But of course, there are many currencies that compete technically with the US dollar. And when we see emerging markets such as China and India and the European Union as a whole, then all of these have the potential to ultimately undermine the dollar, particularly if they gain an economic strength. Another factor are shifts in global trade. Now, the changing dynamics of global trade could also shape the future of the US dollar. You see, as international patterns of trade evolve, because we're dealing with more and more countries from, uh, as each year passes, new economic alliances form 
there could be a shift towards regional currencies or even alternative mechanisms for settlement. You don't always have to buy certain goods with the US dollar. At the moment, as far as commodities are concerned, they are priced in dollars. But who knows that one day, and we're seeing it now with relationships between China and Russia, and between some other countries, often with Russia or China, actually negotiating the purchase of various forms of raw materials or industrial metals or uh, other forms of potential and existing commodity items, we're seeing them offering different currencies, particularly things like gold and silver too. Uh, this, the conspiracy theorists will argue, is why Colonel Gaddafi was removed from power. This is why Saddam Hussein was removed from power because they were undertaking deals which neglected, negated and removed the need for the US dollar. Another factor is the growth of other currencies and we could end up with a multipolar currency system. You see, the alternative global financial system, rather than being based entirely on the US dollar, we could find the dollar sharing its dominance with other currencies such as, as I've already mentioned, the euro or the yuan, the Chinese yuan, or digital currencies issued by other central banks. Let's not forget, we may very well talk about Bitcoin, and Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies, but now we're seeing other central banks actually creating their own digital currency. And of course, the very fact that it is digital means that it can be transported much quicker than if it was a physical note or coin. And, of course, depending on the strength of the economies that are issuing those digital currencies, will dictate to a large degree the attractiveness of those currencies by people wishing to purchase goods from that country or to sell goods to that country. So, the future is not guaranteed for the US dollar. Now, in another video, I will talk about why you should have confidence in the US dollar and why it may last longer than many people believe that it will. But to conclude within this one, there are a number of factors undermining the United States dollar and there are other factors that I've not covered, particularly things such as political risk, depending upon who actually runs, for example, the United States government and the effect that their policies could have on their country as a whole and on the United States dollar's value. But I haven't got time for that because this video is already eight minutes long. I hope you've enjoyed that. Please, therefore, give us a thumbs up, subscribe and press the bell sign. And in another video, I will talk about why the dollar will maintain its dominance, at least for a number of years yet. See you soon.